Sunrise off the coast of Newfoundland, and the fishing boats are in the water. In five years, the Aboriginal market could exceed the combined economies of Prince Edward Island, Newfoundland, and Labrador. From 1993, we're primarily just one lobster boat. The revenues were about $35,000 a year, employing three people, and today it's a little over a million dollars. We had a, over a million dollar deficit uh, with a, a $4 million budget. Our budget this year is about $109 million, so it's quite a... Uh, Quite a difference in uh, budgets from that time to now. We're going forward in the field of economic development and free enterprise. So we're pretty well up to par. Right now in modern society, we have all the tools in place in order to, as we go forward, in order to be successful. From coast to coast to coast. Aboriginal entrepreneurs create incredible opportunities for economic development. À Québec, il y a 280 employés et 30% sont des Premières Nations. La plupart sont des pilotes. I've been in business for 12 and a half years now. The thing that drives me the most, I guess, to wake up every morning and continue to do this is I put so much into this business. Et nous avons eu une très bonne visibilité et il y a beaucoup d'intérêt. On a beaucoup de compagnies qui viennent nous voir pour euh, demander s'ils peuvent distribuer nos produits en Europe. We have between 50 to 80 people employed. It's been a very long, hard road, but it's quite a success story for me. I think our revenue after three years was probably three million, and it's been uh, the average ever since then has been more than six. L'exposition des 11 nations est une première. Il y a entre 50 et 150 000 personnes qui passent dans la salle où on est aujourd'hui. C'est comme un rêve, c'est le plateau d'argent, c'est comme le mecca de, de, du tourisme. Un entrepreneur, c'est quelqu'un qui doit avoir une vision, qui doit avoir une créativité et qui doit avoir un sens de business. Trucking, pharmacies, insurance industry, and we purchased a helicopter to do freighting for the Ring of Fire initiative. So I asked the mountain if she might want to move me. She said tell the rivers to wake up the lake sea. We're just in the process of starting our, our first mine in northern Saskatchewan and we're getting uh, equipment started to move in to another mine in Wisconsin. Inclusive. Innovative. International. Aboriginal entrepreneurs demonstrate the best that business can be. This is the Wiccan Inish Gallery. I've been here for 25 years this September. Go out there and do it. Be a success. Everybody can do it. I'm originally from Prince Rupert. My background is from the Hagelgut Band, just near around Hazelton area. And our main clients are government agencies like BC Hydro, RCMP and also shipyard companies keep the company quite busy. I mainly deal in oil and gas, road building, ice roads, hundreds and hundreds of kilometers of ice roads. Started off with one truck and ended up with a few. Anything I made, I just kept reinvesting in the business. I think in total I got 160 pieces of equipment or something. I have a tire shop and a body shop. Pretty much everyone I hire is local, northern, or Aboriginal from this area. I stick to what I'm good at. That makes you successful, but like I said, live, eat and breathe is how you get ahead in life. We used to see a lot of trucks go by and those young boys will run out and wave at the truck drivers. Every once in a while a kind driver would honk their horn to the young boys. And I thought, wouldn't it be nice if it was their brothers honking the horn at the, the little young brothers. That means we have to own the trucks and we have to have the drivers in those trucks. Now we own the company and that's the dream. Across all of Canada's proud economic sectors, from communications technology to human resources, from retail to hospitality, everywhere we grow. 
strong Aboriginal entrepreneurs are showing the way. We're learning. We may not have all our ducks in a row yet, but you can rest assured we're learning how to place them. <laughs>